joined now by the Foreign Secretary, James Cleverly. Very good morning to you. Um, firstly, is there anything... I know the Bank of England is independent, but uh, Labour Party say they've got a five-point plan to help uh, mortgage holders. What can the government do to intervene? Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the, the main thing that we are uh, working to do and the commitment that the Prime Minister has made is to uh, bring down those, um, uh, bring down inflation. Uh, that is what will unlock growth in the economy. That's what will help us uh, reduce debt. That's what will ultimately uh, uh, resolve the situations that we're seeing. But we recognise that there are uh, pressures, global pressures. Uh, the war in Ukraine is having inflationary pressures um, which are affecting countries all around the globe. But we're making sure that we stay focused on uh, growing the economy. And, of course, we will make sure that lenders provide support to uh, borrowers to make sure uh, that uh, people who are seeing increased mortgage repayments or in increased rent payments, if they fl fl um, filter through to their rental payments, are, are supported uh, by the uh, by the lenders okay, uh, but so ultimately no, no, our job so, is to make sure so the UK economy is in a good yeah. place so so currently we know inflation not going down um, stayed the same yesterday interest rates are going up uh, you're saying no direct help just uh, a word in lenders ears saying you know do what you can to support your customers so one of the things that we have to understand is that uh, if, as I think the, uh, the Labour Party are proposing, uh, the government goes on a massive borrowing spree to, uh, to fund uh, this support, that will add to the very pressures that we are working to address. That will inevitably push up interest rates even further. That will uh, almost certainly increase inflation, the exact things that we are committed to, uh, to deal with. So that would be a completely counterproductive. Good for generating headlines, and of course that's what the Labour Party uh, are only interested in at the moment, but not good for the British okay, people who are already, okay, cool. uh, in many our instances, finding it difficult Foreign to pay. Secretary, our oh, viewers have been getting in touch this week because they're really worried about the cost of living crisis. And one of the things they mm. say is you can't provide help for them today. Uh, however, we are providing £2.3 billion in military support to Ukraine. That was last year. Already committed the same level of military support in 2023, totalling £4.6 billion over both years, plus uh, £240 million new aid announced yesterday. Can you just square that circle for people who are confused about it? Absolutely. And I think this, and I'm really glad you asked me this question because this is incredibly important. Ukraine used to be, before the war, a huge exporter of grain, one of the biggest producers and exporters of grain in the world. It used to be an energy exporter. The fact that both its grain production and its energy production have been specifically targeted by Russia as part of this war has pushed up energy and food prices across the globe. That is, how, that is filtering through to uh, British consumers who are finding it difficult. So helping Ukraine win this war, getting the energy production and the food production back up to pre-war levels will have a positive effect, not just for the Ukrainians, but also for people in the UK as well. These things are linked. Yeah. And the pressure that we are seeing is as, is, 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 is as a can result, you... not exclusively, but in significant part because of the war in Ukraine. Can That's why we are though... so committed to helping them win. Sorry, Mr Clever. Can you appreciate, though, our viewers this morning questioning when you say, look, if we need to go and support people's mortgages, we'd have to go on a big borrowing spree to find that money. In this instance for Ukraine, you have found, as Susanna said, £4.6 billion, another £240 million, because it's essential, as you're saying, for everybody, that you need to find that money. When you've needed to find the money for that, why can't you find the money for people who are on the verge of losing their homes? So, I, so we have... Um, we have supported people. I remind viewers, of course, that... Uh, during uh, the COVID situation, during the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, we put the furlough scheme in place. We supported yeah. people who uh, couldn't go to work because of the uh, restrictions. So, of course, 
we look to uh, support people. But we and this, also it, need to make them, sure that For them that right now, and they're on the verge of the losing right their decisions. homes, they need that sort of support. Now, our colleague, Martin Lewis, who I'm sure you are very aware of, certainly the Chancellor is, said six months ago on this programme, we are heading for a time bomb, a mortgage time bomb. The time bomb's gone off. Well, the the point that we are the point that we are making is that we have to continue to make decisions in the best interest uh, of, the, of the British people, making decisions that we believe or that we know would push interest rates uh, up, uh, or sorry, would push inflation up even further, which would then require interest rates. Uh, to go up in order to address it is not what we want to do. What we are looking to do is we are looking at ways of bringing down inflation. Mm -hmm. That's why we've been cautious on public sector pay awards, because they do put inflationary pressures into the UK economy. That's why we're helping address uh, the food and fuel inflationary pressures okay. which are affecting us and other countries around the world. And we will push the lenders. We will push the lenders. The Chancellor is doing this to make sure they continue to support uh, their borrowers and do the right thing by them. All the right. government's job Let's... is to make sure that we drive down that inflation yeah. and we keep the British economy on track. Uh, I want to ask you about... Uh, the. There are three Brits uh, on this sub and uh, we understand there is uh, an experienced British Royal Navy submariner uh, right at the top of this rescue effort. What sort of help are we offering? Um, and, and what sort of hope do you hold out? Well, uh, look, I, I am not uh, an expert in any way, shape or form about the technicalities of a complicated search and rescue operation uh, like this. Because of the geography of, uh, of where this is, obviously the most appropriate uh, place for help uh, to be provided is in the immediate vicinity. Um, what we are doing from the UK's government, and I know the High Commissioner in Canada is well aware of this, is to stand ready uh, to provide support to uh, British nationals, consular support, which is the, the Foreign Office's uh, support to, uh, to Brits in trouble overseas. But the technical support is obviously best provided by people who are in the immediate vicinity because that support is needed now. By the time you know, British uh, shipping or equipment got over there, uh, I fear it might be too late. So we're looking to support in the best way we can, and that's through our High Commissioner in Canada. Uh, also, 75th anniversary of Windrush, Today, but only 13% of those who've applied for compensation for being treated as uh, illegal immigrants has been paid out. Uh, why so small a number? Well, we are absolutely committed to make sure that all the people who suffered completely inappropriately, completely unfairly, through uh, what was uh, a, a terrible error for which we have uh, apologised, we are committed to make sure that they uh, all are compensated. So there is, uh, there is no time limit to that scheme, there is no cap to that scheme, and we will continue uh, to, to find and support uh, the, uh, the people who uh, suffered. Obviously, the uh, celebration of the Windrush generation today, uh, I think, is an incredible uh, milestone. Uh, th those pioneers played an invaluable contribution, not just to the UK economy at the time, but to our society, to our culture. It, it is a time for celebration, but I also recognise that there are still people uh, who have not uh, been compensated for the, uh, for the hurt that, that, um, uh, that they experienced. And what we say is that, as th that we, will, we will continue to seek out and to compensate those people.